It's Virtual CES 2021 at Geekazine.com. All right, continuing CES coverage, we're here with Doug, and you're with a company called Albi, and you, you must love your job because you get to drink wine all day, don't you? Uh, you do get to sample and taste some wine, so that's one of the benefits which do come with the company. It's not an all-day thing. You want to make sure you're uh, be able to perform on, on to task. And, and I just realized, does does that mean all day? As in, I'm going to drink all day? Is that the company meaning on that? No, al literally means uh, by the glass or for the glass because what we do is we now allow uh, wine, wine lovers, uh, not even connoisseurs, but people who enjoy wine to enjoy every glass without ruining the rest of the bottle. Oh, okay. So this is a appliance. And uh, why don't you tell us how it got started and, and uh, what, what it is? So Albiquiere is the brainstorm of uh, two of my partners. They're the founders of the company. And being from Italy and, and, and the heart of wine country, they realized that there were some problems dealing with wine in general. And being engineers, they sought to resolve this problem. Because if you want to serve wine and you want it chilled, if it's uh, you know a white wine, you have to wait for it to get to that you know proper temperature. And it's never quite there. On top of which, uh, they realized that a lot of wine was getting wasted. So when you open up a bottle, it's good for a couple of days. Uh, a lot of my fellow Americans would say a week or two, but at that point, you know, many Europeans would say it's vinegar. But basically we realized that there was a huge disconnect and, you know, the wine technology industry hasn't been updated uh, for generations really. So they created this wine dispensing unit um, that is able to control the heating and the cooling of the system, and it prevents the oxidization process from entering into the wine. So once you actually open it up, instead of lasting for a couple of days, it's good for up to six months. Six months? You, you mean, wait, wait, you have bottles of wine that are stay around for six months? I, that, that, that doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's definitely a little bit of a, a technology curve that goes with it. So yeah. what we do is we start with our smart bag technology. So with every single one of these bags, you have an NFC chip. And what that does is it tracks your wine from point of origin to point of destination. So okay. it knows if it gets destroyed or the wine inside gets compromised due to shock, uh, exposure to heat, cold, or you know, any other elements. And you could actually confirm that it's arrived in its perfect condition. Um, after which, it has a bag that could communicate with the, the, uh, the smart bag has the NFC chip, which communicates with the dispenser itself, as well as our mobile app. Uh, the bags go inside of the dispenser. It's a really quick, uh, very easy transition process. And um, from there, it just basically pours it. And then when you want a different type of wine, you could just either swap it out or just set the bag off to the side or leave it in the dispenser. It just, uh, it, it really, through our vacuum seam seal system, just takes out oxidization altogether. Okay. Uh, you say bag, and I know that there's probably some wine connoisseurs out there that are cringing. So I have to ask the question. It, was that was just because of the fact of the system that's how it works because you can't really do it from a bottle yeah so it, it's actually really high tech it's called bag and box technology so our bags themselves they're smart wine bags um and what they do is they have double layered protection which provide protects from uh uva uvb rays or any of the rays that could uh kind of interfere with it um and that's what collaborates with our system. So it's pretty high tech. It's a lot beyond, it's way beyond the kind of traditional thought of boxed wine, um, which again, there's nothing quite wrong with that. It's just, this goes well beyond that. And it's, it's definitely high tech. We have some pretty high, uh, you know, and established companies that are excited and, and participating in our, our program. Yeah. And I know a few people, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, friends and family that'll be very excited about this too. So uh, the bags themselves, so when you have them in the unit, that they could go for months, but uh, what about with storage? Is, is that pretty much the same thing? So same thing, yeah. So the storage is longevity. It's once it's actually opened is when that six-month countdown begins. So you could have this for as long as, you know, any traditional wine would be. It could, it could really be there indefinitely. It's once it's opened up uh, that the clock starts ticking for that, that six-month window. So if it, you could actually have like a wine cellar full of bags, would 
Would that be a, a possibility or would that not matter anymore? No, most definitely. You, you can have that. And what's pretty cool about the bags versus the bottles is they're a lot more compatible. So when we ship them out, um, it's, it's, a, it's a technology that's 40% greener. The bags are 100% recyclable. They're also reusable. So you could technically even wash them out and reuse them a couple of times if you like. They come at about 50 cents per uh, half a euro, I should say, per bag. So it doesn't greatly increase the the cost of the wine, as a lot of people would think, especially with the technology, which is integrated in it. Yeah, the only thing that uh, that it would uh, kill is the movie industry. You know, the, the scene where they have the vault full of wine and something happens and all of them come crashing down. That's just going to be a bunch of bags and they're just going to bounce around. So the yeah. one thing I was going to ask was about the, uh, about the re- ability to refill it. So... It, you could find like you could get your favorite wine or if you're doing any type of winemaking, you could actually reuse the bags to uh, put your wine into that, correct? That's correct. So we have a special adapter. So if you open up or say, let's let's say you actually purchase your own bottle of wine because these are going to come directly from the cantina uh, as is with, uh, like I said, the shipping process I explained earlier. But if you make your own wine or let's say you just have a, a bottle that you uncork. We have a special adapter that comes with the kit and it's an easy pour system. You can pour it in, uh, you know, once you, once you open up that particular bottle, but if you make your own wine, you can also put it in the bag and and preserve it itself. And with the NFC chip, which is on there, you could actually program that specific wine for whatever it is. Um, So, so it will still be able to communicate with our interactive display. Oh, so I could I could make an NFC uh, if I made my own wine and call it bathtub wine, let's just say, uh, and then I could create an NFC. So every time I make my wine, it, it 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 could then recognize it that way. Yep. So it would go into the database system. You could upload it into the database system of we of what we have with our wine selection list. And if you create your own, you could put it up in there. You could also put the recommended condition. So whatever uh, temperature you want it served at, the, again, the general recommended temperature, and you can also adjust that however you want. But yep, you could bathtub wine 2021 and it will be able to recognize it. Wow. And then I could see people uh, doing, you know, uh, years from now, they could have this bag of wine was in 2020 and here, here you go. It's like 15 years later. This is a perfect vintage exactly. type situation. So. Awesome. Well, that's that's amazing. Uh, let's let's talk a little bit about the machine itself. How how easy difficult is it to load up a bag and and replace a bag? So it's a seamless transition and it's a a clean system. Meaning the wine itself doesn't come in contact with the dispenser. It all stays internal in the bag, hence the preservation for it. So really, the whole process to switch out one bag from another is maybe about three seconds. And then you'll have to wait a few moments for it to heat or cool to the proper temperature from there or whatever temperature you want it programmed at. So you're talking a matter of moments where, you know, you could have a couple of different pours at a dinner party with a few friends with one dispenser. Okay. And the dispenser, is it, do you have, are they single dispensers or dual dispensers? And if there are dual dispensers, can one be warmed and one be cooled? So that's something that we're working on for future products. That's what we have in development. But as of right now, it's just single bag and single dispenser units. Okay. Okay. And then you said that nothing, nothing needs to be clean. So I'm guessing that the spouts are on the bags and then there's some sort of system that's, that's pinching them closed or open or. That's part of our vacuum sealed system with the way it it, it forces the wine out of the bag itself. So yeah, the the tap itself is inside the bag that connects right through the dispenser and the the chip will will have all that information. So the chip actually communicates with the dispenser itself and then it, it has the vacuum sealed process to extract the wine. Okay. Otherwise, it's just simple cleaning like you would a, I don't know, a toaster or coffee maker wipe on the outside type thing. There's nothing that needs to be dishwashed or anything like that exactly okay well besides the bag if or if you want to reuse the bag how, yep. how so, difficult yeah, yeah. how difficult okay. is it to uh clean the bag i think it would be a pretty pretty easy process the same thing you just hook up the adapter put in some soapy water swash it around and do a quick rinse off the same way okay and uh, so it's it's what a twist off type thing at that point uh, I, th- I think the adapter specifically connects in with it. So I don't know if it's going to, I can't say per se, it would actually be able to twist off and on because then you might compromise the integrity of the, the vacuum sealed system. Yeah. Breaking okay. the seal. Okay. 
Well, this is this is amazing. Like I said, I have a lot of friends and family that are just probably sitting at the edge of their seat going, how can I get one? How much is it? So let's let's get into the details, a little nitty gritty of it or the uh, wine of it. Uh, how much uh, how much are we talking about for this uh, for this unit? So for the actual bags themselves of wine, that's just going to vary based on what the cantina sells them for. So there's going to be specific costs. So if you got high quality wines, of course, they're going to you know command a higher price, which would be there opposed to uh, a little bit more economically uh, economically available bags. For the unit itself, it's retailing at about three hundred and fifty dollars. Um, but we have uh, you know a tiered system where if you bought you know a couple units, if you bought a few units, there's you know a reduction in price. And of course, we'll have you know discounts and promos as we're still uh, getting this out there and making our name known okay and uh where do people go for more information then you could go right to our website which is albiquere.com and i'll make sure that i uh have all of the information for you to have a hyperlink uh okay. easier to click then try to spell it all out yeah they should know albiquere so uh it is out right now correct no so the actual unit itself is expected to hit the shelves in september September. Okay. Yep. So that something to clear the counter space for and have, you know, this spot reserved for wine. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yep. So, all right. Well, cool. Well, Doug, thank you very much for your time. This has been awesome. Uh, and, and I, like I said, I know a lot of people that are going to love this idea of they'll probably replace their toasters, uh, with, uh, with wine dispensers. Sounds great to me. Thank so. you so much for your time too. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot for watching this video for the CES Virtual by Geekazine. If you're over on geekazine.com or youtube.com forward slash geekazine, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell notification so you know when the next video comes out. Until next time, you guys geek out and take care.